introducing a better and cheaper solution to overcoming the high cost and voltage drop limitation with outdoor extra low voltage cables in landscape light installations. To start with, I've made up a comparison of the aluminium cables that I'm suggesting we use and comparing them with the existing extra low voltage cable. As you can see, that the aluminium cables are quite enormous in size and capacity and the cost is reasonable when compared with your typical PVC cables. Looking at the comparison here, I recommend that we use 35mm square rather than moving to 3.3, 4, 6 or even 10mm square copper cables because they're poor value, so don't use them. Also for completeness, I've included the 0.5mm square figure 8 cable which is typically supplied in your cheap $20 tear light kits. Don't use this as your drop off cable because it's too thin and is a possible fire hazard. I suggest the 1.3mm square which is typically the smallest that's sold in a hardware store be used for your drop off cables but you can also use ordinary building cable in 2.5mm square which is just as good and cheaper. This is an example of how you would lay out these heavy duty aluminium single core cables. You lay them in a figure eight configuration, flat down, and you can just use galvanized steel wire like uh, tie straps to hammer into the ground and hold them down so they don't get kicked or bent up. The beauty about using 12 volts or 24 volt extra low voltage systems is you don't need to be an electrician to install them. The advantages of using aluminium cables are actually quite extensive. To start with, they're much cheaper. In comparison, the 35mm square is roughly the same sort of cost as running your cheap 3.3mm square which is sold at most hardware stores. Obviously 4, 6 and 10mm square is vastly more expensive than this, so don't use it. The 35mm square has twice the capacity of the 10mm square, which is the largest you can get, and at one sixth of the price. That's enormous. The um, PVC XLPE is double insulated, it's two layers of insulation, and it's rated all the way up to 1000 volts AC, as opposed to the crappy 32 volts that your extra low voltage cables are rated to. Also, the PVC is inferior compared to XLPE because the XLPE has got a far low moisture absorption rate. So the cables will just last longer by default anyway. Further, the um, cables are, can be buried directly in the ground without conduit. The cables are thicker and stronger so they'll resist damage from garden tools or other mechanical damage. And the aluminium is virtually worthless so it's useless to cable thieves because they won't get any return on their, on their um, efforts for trying to steal them and dig them up. Uh, I suggest professional landscapers use 35mm squares there as the best choice, so it's the best sort of compromise between size and, and uh, capacity, and save their customers up to hundreds of dollars on a typical installation, and even pocket some profit as well. Further, because of the high capacity, it's a possibility that over long distances you won't need to run a 240 volt feeder out to a remote location so that can be huge saving. The second video here is a demonstration of the capacity difference between the 35 millimeter square aluminium and the 6 millimeter square copper PVC usual figure 8 cable. As you can see the aluminium wins hands down as far superior to the more expensive 6mm square copper cable. And finally, the disadvantages of using aluminium cable is, apart from the fact that it's quite stiff and heavy, is that you can't just use conventional terminating methods as with copper. You actually have to use aluminium or product called Alsol, which is made by Multicore. So therefore it will take a bit longer to actually terminate the cables. However, the cost savings are so huge, definitely worth it in the end. I also recommend as a tip that you use adhesive heat shrink on all your connections or at least tape up your connections to stop moisture and water getting into the termination because eventually water will destroy the connection. I hope this all helps. Thanks for watching.